Good morning. How are y'all this morning? I hope everybody's doing good. So this morning we're gonna go over my makeup routine. Um, we're starting with the primer. So I put the 24 karat um, gold primer. It's one of our new ones we've gotten in last year. It's uh, firming also, so I like to put it around my eyes. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, so you see my eyes are pretty red. So all that'll be covered up though. Um, so I like to put it all around my eyes and then I'll go in with our foundation primer. Just the plain foundation primer. It doesn't have SPF or anything in it. I'm super oily, so I use this one. But we have a lot for dry skin also. We have anti-redness, which is really good for people that have really red skin and they wanna just cover it up good. Um, so I have that. And then I have our lasting foundation and I use the color vanilla. Uh, lasting foundation is for oily skin. Um, and it has a SPF of 12 in it. So what I do is just put a few dabs everywhere and then I just rub it in and I use my hands. It evens out your skin tone, it doesn't take that much. And, and sometimes I get too much. Can I grab a tissue real quick? Thank you. And sometimes you put too much, but you can wipe it off, so. Good morning. Okay. All right, so we got a fresh new clean slate now I'm gonna do my eyes so I just take this is our dual action concealer in light and I just take it do the football and then just rub it in and that covers up all the redness and I'm looking in this mirror, so I'm going to add a little bit. Okay. Okay. Need to rub it in on my nose. You can't see it on the on screen. Okay, so here is foundation uh, primer, the 24 karat gold foundation primer, the lasting foundation, and then the dual action concealer. Um, and then next, I'm gonna do my powder. So I use the ultra powder foundation. Um, and I usually use ultra chiffon because throughout the day mine gets a little bit darker and so I go lighter and then darken it up. And I'm going to be using um, the Knockout Nude Palette today. So, for all you ladies that have bought the Knockout Nude Palette, that's what I'm using. I love it. Kind of even everything out, just put a good, 
I like to be matte because I am so oily. If you get it on your lips, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, okay, so that's the Ultra Powder Foundation in Ultra Chiffon. And then, also, Merle Norman does an awesome, it's called Flawless Effect, oil control press powder, and it's translucent. So, you put it on, and you are set for the day because it's going to help control the oil um, and it really does work if I don't use this I can tell so I put it mainly in my t-zone because that's where I get the most oily so I'm gonna put it here and then here and then just on my chin. And then sometimes I just kinda spread it over here just in case, because sometimes I do get oily all over. Okay. So, and then, so that's a good start. And then I'm gonna do contour. Everybody tries to make contour hard. It's not, it can be very easy. So I'm just gonna take our um, it's called Sunny Side. It's our bronzing um, powder. And what I do is just do a backwards. Sorry, my hair is more. Just do a backwards three. So I kind of do it on my forehead, come down um, on under my cheekbone. So I go from the top of my ear down. See that? It kind of makes just a good shadow line and then I try to blend it up and then I'm gonna go down right under my jawline so can you see the difference so here's this and then here's this it's a good bit different but it's literally a backwards three it's not that intense. Anybody can do it. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And then, so here. And I go down on my temple area just to kind of make it all blend and good. Then sometimes if I'm getting real fancy, I'll just go just on my nose just a little bit, not a ton, just, just gives a little bit of shadow. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And then I go in next. So I jump from my cheeks and I don't put on my um, actual blush yet. I'll put that on closer to the end. Um, I'm gonna go in with our eyeshadow primer. This stuff is amazing. If you don't have it, you need it for sure. Um, it helps keep your eyeshadow on. Mine will look like it does whenever I first put it on at the end of the night, so it's awesome. Um, you don't have to have a lot. I just got just a little bit. Um, and then sometimes it might be too much, but you just blend it in good. And then I'll let it dry for just a minute. Uh, 
Um, and it just goes on the eyelid. It doesn't go under the eye or anywhere else, just on the eyelid. Okay. All right, so that was the eyeshadow primer. And now I'm gonna go in with our Knockout Nude Palette. How awesome is that? It's beautiful, it's tan colors. I have used, so mine at home, I've used like every one of them. This one right here, it's called Tiger's Eye, is completely gone. Like I can't even get any out of the corners because I love it so much. Okay, so what I do first is I take just a good, we have eyes number two brush. Um, it's just a flat brush. What I'm gonna do is put the lightest color just on my brow bone. Sorry, the train's loud. Screaming for you. Okay, so I put it on my brow bone and then I'm just gonna kinda blend it everywhere. Just, I like the color and it's a good base color. My lips are pretty dry. We have an exfoliator that I need to do desperately. And then we also have a lip conditioner that's amazing for lips. And I need to use it. Okay, so it's a good base color. Kind of get it um, just everywhere. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in my crease with the, um, it's called Beauty Mark. <clears throat> it's the fourth one from the, or from the left side. So I'm gonna go in with that one. And it says on the back all the colors, so you're all good. So I'm gonna do this color in my crease. I swap back and forth. So I kind of put it in my crease and then blend it up a little bit. Um, but you don't have to be exact with it because you're gonna blend some other colors into it. So then I'm gonna do the same on this eye. I got a little bit too far down, but it's okay. I can go back and okay. So there's that. So that is the beauty mark in my crease. And then I kind of just went right above just to kind of blend it all. Um, and then next I'm gonna do the dark color, the um, Cafe Society. The, this one on the end, everybody's kind of nervous about because it is so dark, but it's beautiful. So with the same brush, and it's um, eyes number three, it's just like a little contour brush. Um, I'm going to go in and do this right in the crease. 
I'm not going to try to blend it up. I'm just going to put it in the crease. But always, always blend. But I'm just going to put it there and make sure it's blending well with the beauty mark. So I'm going to do, I'm going to use the eyes number one brush and I'm going to go back and kind of just blend that in because I don't want any kind of straight lines. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same on this side. So I do the crease and then I come down into an angle. So I don't know if I said that on the other eye. Okay, and then I'm just going to go back, just blend it all together. And I'm going to take um, just a little bit more of the beauty mark and just kind of just go back over it with it just to kind of blend everything. Then I'm going to go back with a moonstone and just blend there. I don't like to get too dark uh, right in the inner corners of my eyes just because I like it to pop. Um, and then, so I'm going to go in with the um, tiger eye and just put it on my lid. I'm going to actually use, um, they have a cool brush that comes in the Knockout Nude uh, palette. It's a really good brush. So, I'm just going to use it and I'm going to put it right on my lid. Look at that. That's so pretty. I love that color. Good morning, Lisa. Okay, so that's that. So looks a little bit crazy. So go back again with my brush. I'm gonna blend it again. Blending is a good process to know. So, and then I have some fallout and what I do is just take just a, a powder brush and just wipe it away. It's not that big of a deal. Just wipe it away. Um, okay. So there's that. Um, and I like it to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to go back in and just kind of touch it up right here on the ends. Okay, and then, so in um, this also, we have one called Rose Quartz. 
It's really pretty, shimmery. Um, it's luminous. And I like to go and put it just right here, just to brighten your eyes up. And I just put it on with my finger. It's easiest to get in that area and you're just dabbing it in the inner corner. Okay, so next, all right, so eyes are done. Um, I'm gonna blend a little bit more just cause it looks, especially like right here, I'm just feeling like it's not blended very well. Okay, that's better. All right, so and next I'm gonna do my eyebrows because they look terrible. So I just go in with our um, brow sculpting pencil in ash. Sometimes I use um, the rich brown. Um, today I'm gonna use the ash brown. And I just make little strokes. I don't try to go. You want it to look as natural as possible. You don't want to look like you painted on your eyebrows. Okay. So, I'm going to go back and just brush it out a little bit. Make it look a little bit more natural. So, there is my eyebrows. Um, I just like to make sure they're blended well and I don't have a lot of uneven spots. And by the way, so this rolls up, and also on this end, there's a brush. And when you put the top, so you put the top back on the brush, and it, you can screw it off. And this is like a little sharpener, so you put it in the ridges right here, and it just makes the tip of it um, just um, pointy again. So then you can do those hair like strokes. This is awesome. So powder, or it's a brow sculpting pencil and it has the brush and the little sharpener all in one. Um, okay, so next I'm gonna do eyeliner. And this is gonna be a challenge because I'm gonna have to try to do it in the phone. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to actually do it in this mirror right here. Sorry, I'm not getting this very straight. Okay. Bad. 
better. See? All right, and this is our um, Pro Pen, and it's awesome. Um, it's our Pro Pen Eyeliner. It is black, and it's like a Sharpie. It's awesome. Anybody can use it. Just takes a little practice. When I first started using it, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. I'm just going to use our pencils. And now, I couldn't go back. And if you mess up a little bit, it's okay. It's not a big deal just to go in. before it dries completely and just just kind of smooth out that area. I love wings always have a wing um okay so on the top i just use the pro pen um it's called sharp black it's awesome and then on the bottom i fill it just a little bit in um, with our soft touch blackout pencil um this is a you sharpen it and then it has a smudger on the end so i just go in right there and just kind of blend the top and the bottom. Sometimes I go right at the lash line and just that way it kind of blends everything. If you have really small eyes though, if you want to go right at the lash line, um, that's good, but I wouldn't go way far under or do it too thick because it kind of closes in your eyes. Okay, so eyeliner done. Um, and now I'm gonna do my blush. Everything kind of looks weird without my blush. So I'm gonna use it's our Purely uh, Minerals Cheek Cutler in Come Hither. It's really pretty. Um, it's pink, but it has a little hint of kind of a purpley, burgundy-ish color. So I just go right on my cheekbone, right above where I put the contour. Um, and sometimes if you get too much, just keep blending. Don't get more, just blend. Good morning, Jenny. So, um, so on my eyeshadow, I did the, our Knockout Nudes palette. Um, I used the Moonstone, um, and then I used our Beauty Mark, and then I used the Cafe Society. Um, so I use this on my brow bone and then all over my eye just to kind of give it a good base. Um, I went in with the beauty mark and did in my corner, I mean in my crease, and then I went a little bit above the crease and just kind of blended it out. Um, and then I did the Cafe Society and um, I did that in my crease, but I blended it with the um, beauty mark. And then I went in on, just on my lid, I did the tiger eye and then I put our rose quartz in the corner it's just a really pretty color um and that's awesome all in one palette it's all Merle Norman of course everything I use is Merle Norman so um but this palette is really awesome 
you wouldn't go wrong with it no matter if you like natural or if you like dark and dramatic like I do um, you won't go wrong with it and then okay so all right so I did that side now I'm gonna go back and do this side so I just kind of blend I don't do this because sometimes whenever you do that it gets too much so I just kind of dab it and this is also and then I kind of swirl a little bit I'm gonna go back in and fill this okay so there we go so um and i used our face number four brush it's our blush brush um it's really good it is kind of pointed at the top and it's they have it blended really well and so it, it's not all one length so whenever you do this it's gonna help blend better okay so blush everything's done except for uh, mascara and lipstick and then also I'll finish it off with our finishing spray so first I will use our mascara primer it is amazing if you don't have mascara primer you need it <laughs> it's really good it doesn't matter what length your lashes are if they're long or short it's just good it's a conditioner um, and it's gonna thicken the ends up thank you Casey Okay, so just put it all over. And this morning, my lashes are curling up more than usual. So I'm not going to use the, the lash curler. But usually I use a lash curler. If your eyelashes are really straight, this is awesome. Um, and we have them. Here at the store we also we have those and then we also have um a beauty blender which is really good i just don't use it myself but a lot of people like using it okay so i let that dry for just a few seconds while i'll do the other eye too quiet in here okay so there's that and then so I'll let it dry and then I'm gonna go in um, with our fat lash mascara And put it on the top this is my favorite um, it's volumizing and lengthening all in one so y'all have any questions please feel free to ask if you need to and then I'm gonna put all the products I used at the end of the video I'll put it in the comments for y'all Sorry, I'm trying not to. Okay. 
How you lazy? Did you turn on the music? The lights are on. Oh. Okay, so everybody likes their um, lashes different. I don't try to spend too long on them, but sometimes it's just you have to do a little bit more. Okay, so, and then, and I got a little bit under my eye, so I'm just going to go in So I'm just gonna use one of our concealer brushes and go blend that off. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do the other eye. Thank you. And then does everybody make the um, mascara face? I think everybody has to open their mouth when they're doing their mascara. If you try not to, you will anyways. So, there's that, and I got a little bit above my eye, so what I'm going to do is just take this little contour brush and just go in and just blend it, and it will come right off. It's not a big deal. Um... I'm sure everybody kind of does that. And if you do, don't worry about it. You don't have to start completely over and do your makeup, um, your eyeshadow all over again. Just blend it in and it will be fine. Okay, so everything's done. Now I'm going to do my lips. So today I'm going to use our Age Defined Lip Liner in Cocos. It's a good, just a natural, pretty everyday color I have to use the mirror to line my lips. Brooklyn, on the other hand, she can do it without a mirror. Along with her mascara. So, I just put a little bit 
So I line the outside and then I just put a little bit in the inside and just kind of blend it. So, and then I can't decide if I want to use. These are our new lipsticks, by the way. They're awesome. Um, they have a magnetic top, so it doesn't come off in your purse. I know a lot of people hate lipsticks because the top comes off and it stinks. So, um, when that happens, because it gets everywhere, all over everything. Um, but we have several different colors. We have anything from neutral to blue, which I wore one time or a couple times. At, I wore it to a ball game one time, which I love, but it's different. Um, this is City Girl. It's just a good neutral color. And that's all it takes. It's just a swipe and it's going to stay on all day. These stay on so well. Um, and I, you can use them without a liner, but I just like the look of a liner. So, um, and just remember we have tons and tons of colors. And then also last thing, but not least is, well, actually, hold on. I'm going to do one other thing. Um, so also, I don't know if a lot of people do this, but also with this, um, eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take, it's called gold, uh, star, and I'm going to go right on the tops of my cheekbones and just put a little highlight. really pretty and then just do the same I'm gonna put it just a Okay. Okay, so there we go. The highlight is beautiful. Look at that. Um, I'm gonna use our expert touch finishing spray. If you want all your makeup to completely stay all day long, this stuff is awesome. Um, and it smells really good too. So just kinda Just mist your face with it and it's gonna feel damp at first but that's okay because it's gonna dry it's gonna dry really quickly and you don't have to um, worry about it messing up your makeup or anything like that so I hope you all enjoyed it had fun and I will hopefully do another one soon maybe um, our spring collections coming out pretty soon so I can do that another video with that and also um we're having a 50 percent off sale today for blush for the clothes um we have two racks of just lots of clothes um on there and then also we have some t-shirts for sale um and they're also 50 percent off so be sure to get up here and see the girls and they'll we'll be here from 10 to 6 today and look at my shirt Michelle, I love my shirt. Um, all I need is a whole lot of coffee, makeup, and Jesus. Thank you so much. Bye.